big possession for Iowa State. And Garrett is fouled. He's like, throw it in, throw it in. Hurry up. <laughs> Garrett, good jump stop. Boy, that was. Up over Heemskirk. These two teams played in Hilton. It was just a two-point win for Drake after the officials reviewed a last-second three-pointer, and they ruled no good. And whistle and a foul. And if you take him out, I'd just take him out for a minute, minute and a half, and maybe one of those deals that you just milk it with an offensive-defensive substitution. Every time you get a chance, get him in on the offensive end and uh, put Vander Deacon in for the defensive possession. Right here, if I'm Drake, I go right at Stryker. Absolutely. I'd even go post him up with he's joining Bucky Cox. Boy, good play there by Craig Stanley to go baseline. Well, we were critical of Drake of not seeing the man in the ball. All they saw was the ball. That time, Lucas Steiger didn't see the ball. He's just staring at his man, was not in position to help. Boy, Drake is just scrapping, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Poking that ball, keeping it alive, knocking down shots when they have to. Peterson, three, no. Steiger. What a rebound, but he can't get it with a left hand. Here's a rebound for Steiger. He's cramping. He's grabbing and down, grabbing his calves. That could be attributed to somewhat of that knee injury. And a big three by Bucky Cox. And don't look now, but it's a one-point contest. Bucky Cox. Boy, that was nice. All set up by a nice play by Adam Templeton. Surprised McDermott's not taking a timeout. They'll get a timeout here as there is a whistle and a foul. At their 16 foul, I will say it'll be in the bonus next. All the way out to Eichmeyer. I'm going to guess that Greg McDermott realizes the next dead ball will be a TV timeout, and he is saving his timeouts. Eichmeyer, no. Vanderbeeken going for the rebound, and he's fouled from behind by... ...line goes to the strike. And that's the first miss tonight for the Cyclones in the line, but that's only their fourth free throw attempt. Lucas Tiger, who leads the way with 24 points, sitting on the bench with four fouls right now. And a cramped calf as well. Post move there, and getting the long rebound, Heemskirk. So a fresh 35 for the Bulldogs on the shot clock. Well, that's about the third consecutive time down the floor that somebody for Drake has just poked that ball loose to give another possession. Well, at that time, it was Bucky Cox. Three-pointer, Stanley got it! And the Drake Bulldogs have the lead. It's their first lead of the game. That is just the second three-point field goal of the season for Craig Stanley. Seven minutes, Steiger back in there. Now for Iowa State. Well, Hames, Kirk, and Cox doing a good job inside on Brackens. Garrett. Tough shot off the glass that won't go. And there's Heemskirk with the rebound. One and done for the Cyclones. Yeah, where's the rebound? Right. That's what I'm thinking. Deontay Garrett attacks the gap off the dribble, which is good, and puts a shot up there, and everybody's backpedaling. There wasn't a single Cyclone around that ball, not one. The only guy near it was the guy who took the shot, Garrett. And so far, our two keys for Drake are playing out, and the two keys that Iowa State could not do are, unfortunately for the Cyclones, also playing out. Drake shooting better than 40%, and they're out rebounding Iowa State, and almost two more, but missing a chip shot, Hainskirk. Should have had that one. Oh, can't miss that one on the road. As we said, Iowa State needed more free throw attempts. Right now, a 13-point differential from the free throw line, and they needed to keep Drake under 60 points. They have not done that either. But they have out-rebounded the Cyclones 38 to 29, and a timeout. Unbelievably scintillating first hit. And right now it's Drake with the ball and the lead. Young drives the paint. 
And he misses another layup. That's two missed layups in a row, but Drake able to get it back. Boy, how did two missed layups for Drake. And if you're Greg McDermott, you're saying, would somebody please pick up a loose ball? A 10-point advantage on the glass for the Bulldogs tonight. Now, if you're wondering, Craig Stanley is the most likely player if you need to foul. The rest of the Bulldogs are terrific free throw shooters. Stanley struggles a little bit at 64%. Stanley trying to bounce pass through the paint. Heems Kirk, little spin move. Brackens trying to clear it, and it's poked out of bounds. It'll go to the Cyclones. Brackens held to a season low nine points so far in this game. He does have eight rebounds. And one of the things Iowa State has not done well tonight is get to the free throw line. If I'm Greg McDermott during this timeout, I'm going to points for Steiger in the second half. After 21 in the first. Well, Brackens was open. Well, he's frustrated. He's not getting the ball, and he's flashing and showing himself, and he's open. Valeska does get it in. Look at the triple team coming, and now Brackens will go to the line. The ball inside the Brackens, and then, oh boy, and then in the game. Two critical free throw misses for the Cyclones, and it's a one point Drake lead, a timeout taken by Iowa State. They're there. Yeah, six for eight for the year from, for Barron, but again, that's a senior that's been sitting over on that bench for a long time. Now, timeout taken by Phelps. Your deal where you're up by three, you want to go ahead and foul early also. First things first, to inbound the ball. They barely get it into Stanley, and they immediately foul him for Drake. Point differential from the free throw line. Missed the second one, so it's a two point contest. Ooh, look like you travel. <laughs> well, I like this. Don't call a timeout just to call a timeout. Peterson for three for the lead. A little bit short. He gets the rebound, throws it up again. Missed again. Rebounded away by Templeton. Point two seconds remaining. But he or not. gives the Cyclones a little bit of a glimmer of hope. There's the make. It's a three-point game, only 1.2 seconds nice. remaining. And Iowa State will talk things over. They just Well, there's Brackens at the top of the key. Knocked away, and Drake will come up with a huge win on the road. They had lost 13 straight at Hilton, but their last two trips here to Ames, Iowa, have resulted in a victory. A great comeback for the Bulldogs. A terrific game. Mark Phelps' team did a great job.